The man charged in the shooting death of a woman outside a Pensacola bar was denied bond today in an Escambia County courtroom. That happened this afternoon. Christian Ketchup is charged with one count of homicide in the death of Tierra Binion at Muggs and Jugs Bar on Scenic Highway early Wednesday morning. Appearing before Escambia County Judge Charles Young, Ketchup heard emotional testimony from the victim's mother on why he should not be released. Ketchup's girlfriend also charged early this morning with battery. Rachel DeRise was released from the Escambia County Jail later on a $15,000 bond. Tanner Stewart is just outside the Escambia County Courthouse now with more on what the arrest report reveals about the conditions of these suspects at the time of the shooting. Tanner? Well, Bob, we've heard a lot of reports that Mugs and Jugs is a popular place on Tuesday night, particularly for their cheap drinks. And as we've learned from this arrest report, at least one of the suspects going back to the incident admittedly doesn't remember a thing. Christian Ketchup appearing before judge Thursday in Escambia County. The 25 year old who confessed to killing Tierra Binion outside Muggs and Jugs bar could face life without parole if convicted. And the victim's mother feels this is just. In a rare testimony inside the courtroom, Brandy Espiritu pleading with the judge to issue no bond for Ketchup. His life was not threatened. She was already down and knocked out. No threat to him anymore but he still chose to do what he did. And she's no longer here. And she's got two identical twin five-year-old boys that and no longer have a mother. When she was out cold, not conscious, there was no reason to take it even further, you know what I'm saying, and then take her life. I don't, I just can't see, I have no understanding of that at all. Earlier today, Ketchup's girlfriend, 23-year-old Rachel DeRise, was charged with one count of battery after deputies say she assaulted Binion before Ketchup knocked her out cold. Moments later, according to the arrest report, Ketchup fired seven rounds at Binion while she lay unconscious. The report states DeRise says she was too drunk to remember anything that happened. Generally, Tuesday nights are the college days, so everyone goes there. It's dollar drink nights, um, which means that the alcohol is flowing for pretty cheap. One person who wishes to remain anonymous tells me she and her boyfriend were close friends and neighbors with the couple at an apartment complex off Nine Mile Road. They lived down the hallway from me. He worked at Navy Federal, had a great had a great job over there, and she works at Andrews Institute and also has a great career. I admired them. I'm just shocked. I would never expect this out of them. Like it's just so out of character for these two people. So out of character. And we've also learned from the report that Christian Ketchup called authorities and turned himself in not long after the shooting somewhere down the road from the bar and investigators also revealing they found a wallet that belonged to Ketchup and one shoe on the scene. Live tonight outside the Escambia County Courthouse, I'm Tanner Stewart, WEAR News.